today I decided to venture out to the shops with my children. Whenever one embarks on the road, there is always the possibility that one will get hungry and feel the need to stop somewhere to grab a quick bite to eat. For me, I can stop almost anywhere and find something that will take care of my hunger pains. I have never been picky when it comes to food. My children are not like me, however, and if a certain item is placed before them, there could be some hesitation. Whenever we go to a restaurant, or a fast food establishment, we are at the mercy of the facility. There are occasions when we can order it our way, but the reality of the situation is that we are not preparing the food and we are therefore out of control. We do not know what brand of food was used in the dish. We are not able to set the cooking temperature. We are not so sure if the green stuff is oregano or parsley until we taste the food. Maybe there is too much ice in the drinks when they are presented. Perhaps the napkin fall apart when used. In my case today, I took my children to McDonald's. It is something we rarely do because I'm not too fond of fast food. As we were driving down the road, I noticed we were not given napkins. I could not believe it. No napkins? That's not how I do things. I always have a napkin for each person who is eating because it's what you are supposed to do when presenting a meal. Then my pondering mind remembered the last time we stopped somewhere for something to eat. The back I was given was loaded with napkins and I kept some just in case a situation like this would arise. Those napkins were just what I needed today. God gives us just what we need. Even when we are handed a bag with no napkins, it is not the end of the world. In my case, I found some napkins I was given earlier. At times when we are in need, we are led to the solution like in my situation with the napkins. Sometimes what we need is right in front of our eyes hidden. And then there are occasions when we must be a bit creative. There are also scenarios when the napkins will come to us via an outside source. At the end of the day, we have the napkins. God makes sure we have what we need. The big issue is to acknowledge that God is in control and that he will provide all that we need. Philippians 419 states that he will supply us with all we need, but many people have a problem understanding that verse. There is an issue with recognizing a need in comparison to a want. I need food and water. I want a piece of chocolate and some coffee. It is like wanting to buy only Nike brand shoes, though any pair of shoes will do. Having a preference in a brand is not a sin. The panicking and the inability to be flexible can be an issue. When we become anxious over a situation and firmly plant our feet in fear of losing ground, we do not allow God to move. We act selfish. We stand like a statue trying to keep ourselves upright. Our foundation becomes like sand, and as hard as we try to stand firm in our position, whatever it may be, we begin to tip, we slip, we fall. When there comes a time that you feel an unrecognized need in your life, do not get worried. Do not firmly plant your feet so that you cannot budge further. As with anything, first take it to God. Also, try to understand if it is truly a need or if it is simply a want. When God created man, it was not with a label must have every cable channel available. It is not that we cannot have every cable channel available but that we should not have our focus on that alone. It is important that we have our eyes focused on God and that we listen to Him for direction. He can lead us to the napkin. When an issue arises, we also need to not panic. It is important to take time to think and use our experiences and knowledge to our benefit. God made us as creative beings so that we could use our minds for the better. A step back to reevaluate a situation can bring great results. Perhaps we are supposed to use what is around us to construct a napkin. Finally, there is the possibility that someone else could cross our path with a napkin. Some situations are for the glory of God. In the end, the napkin is always there. God always provides the napkin if it is truly needed. Like with everything, we just need to remember to say thank you and to use it wisely.